Hey guys, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the battery out in a 2014 Elliware laptop. Stay tuned guys, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this laptop up and power it on. And I'm going to show you the error code that I'm currently getting on my laptop, which if you're watching this video, you're probably getting to as well. So the error code reads, your battery has experienced permanent failure and needs to be replaced. Strike F1 to continue, strike F2 to run setup utility. So go ahead and hit F1 so we can go ahead and see what's going on with this laptop. Again, these batteries are pretty weak and they do die out pretty fast over time. Since this is a six-year-old laptop, it is about due for a replacement. And there's our second indicator right there that is showing the battery is not charging. The only way you can use this battery is if you have it plugged into the wall. And for a laptop, it's pretty hard to do that, especially if you're going to college or you just want to go to a LAN party. Definitely don't want to be plugged into the wall at all times. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and switch the battery out. So your first step is to power off your laptop and unplug it from the power supply so you don't mess up any components when switching out the battery. On the back of the laptop, there's going to be four screws you want to start unscrewing. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure to put these screws somewhere safe so you don't mix them up with the internal screws. Again, there's going to be some more screws you need to get from the inside, so definitely don't want to mix these up. So now you're going to go ahead and slide the back panel back towards yourself and pull straight up. This back panel is designed to be pulled off quite easily as Alienware does expect the users to upgrade their components on the inside. Let's go ahead and put the back panel somewhere safe because we don't want to scruff it or scratch it up. And let's get to work. So there's four additional screws to remove the battery on the inside. Again, this is an easy process. I'm assuming Alienware did not solder the battery to the motherboard for this reason. This is a 69 hour watt battery, and I guess the longevity of this battery is about three years, and it's over six. So definitely they make it designed to last longer than the battery, and easy to replace. So just go ahead and unscrew these screws, and we'll get to work. Now that you have all four screws removed, go ahead and grab some tweezers and gently pry up on the cable. You don't want to pull too hard because if you do, you might actually detach the power unit from the motherboard. And at that point, you would have to replace the whole motherboard, which would be a complete failure on your part. Now is the time to pause the video if you want the exact match and number of this battery. Okay guys, so this is the battery I got off of Amazon. This had 115 good reviews, so I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You can go ahead and click on that to get this battery. It's always better to get the ones with more reviews and more good reviews than the one that only has five reviews. That's what I think, at least, because you don't want to get a battery replacement that only lasts another month. So let's go to open this up and see what's in it, guys. So the good thing is this battery is new, as you can see by the sticker, and does come with an additional 12 month warranty, which is pretty good. So inside the box you do get a owner's manual, which we probably will never need, but it's here just in case, and you can definitely pause the video if you want to read it. And now we'll go ahead and start pulling the battery out of its beautiful, nice wrapping paper. Isn't that just the sexiest thing you've ever seen in your life? You gotta love that new battery smell in the morning. Mmm, yummy. So let's go ahead and compare the original Alienware battery to the aftermarket cheaper battery. 
As you can see, the body format is pretty much the same. But when you start looking at the cable length, the cable length on the new battery is a little longer and doesn't have the heat shrink wrap over it to make it nice and neat. But all that really matters is how long the battery will last. And that's all that matters, really. So go ahead and slide the battery in. Push down nice and gently. And let's go ahead and grab those four screws and screw it back in. So now let's go ahead and plug the battery back into the motherboard. Go nice and gently. I do have big sausage fingers, so I like to use my tweezers. I press nice and firmly on each side of the connector, nice and gently, until it goes in smoothly. Remember, go nice and gentle, guys. You don't want to push too hard to break this connector off the motherboard. That would be an additional expense for no reason. Let's go ahead and grab the back panel. And you're going to go ahead and slide it the opposite way nice and firmly and push down to make sure everything's in place correctly. Let's go ahead and grab those four screws we put aside and screw this back on. And then we'll go ahead and power it up and see how everything looks, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and power back up this laptop. So as you can hear in the background, there is a postcode going on. And don't worry about that, guys. That's just remnants from the bad battery we had in there before. So what you want to do is hold down the power button for about 5 seconds. Once you've done that, we'll go ahead and turn it back on. Go ahead and push that nice on button one more time. And here we go guys. Voila! No more error message about the battery, no more F1, no more having to be plugged into the wall everywhere you go. Now this is what I'm talking about, easy replacement. Nice. I love Alienware for how easy they make replacing parts and upgrading parts. Definitely other makers of laptops should take a good note from this. Now you can see the battery is charging. That's a great job guys. Let's go to take a look at that sexy B-roll. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so you saw how easy that install was. Pretty much, you just take off the four screws on the back of the laptop, the four on the inside, pull up on that wire, put the new battery in, and reverse the steps. Very easy to install the battery on this Alienware laptop. Most Alienware laptops are made very easy to work on and to upgrade. It's pretty much Dell's gaming line for laptops. Please click that like button if you liked, the dislike if you disliked, and please leave a comment down below and let me know if you liked this video. Share, like, and subscribe guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Ghost Bit Miner out.